It's Comic-Con weekend. Some of today's events include the annual Comic-Con masquerade and a Star Trek panel outside the convention center. People also want fun dipping their hands into barrels of blue slime to look for prizes from the Mr. Beast Lab toy line. ABC 10 News reporter Adam Campos takes us inside day three of the con. It's day three of Comic-Con. Thousands of people from all across the world are hitting the gas lamp district to celebrate pop culture. Ascending the stairs, people filled the convention center for day three of Comic-Con, some returning. I've been once. And some attending for the first time. This is like a dream come true. It took 50 years for me, 22 years for him to get here. Comic-Con brings out the inner child of everyone. And as everyone brings out that inner child, no one is left out of the fun. Just meeting other people who are into the same things that I'm into. Everyone's here to have a fun time. Everyone has their own little niche things that they love here, and, but they all come and make a really fun time for everyone. Even without a badge, people's energy, the costumes, and all the activities outside the convention gives people a feel of the energy they may feel inside. Just just seeing people, like everything around, you get to do so much, and it's just a really cool experience. Having the chance to enjoy the different exhibits and see everyone make their way to Comic-Con makes it enjoyable for everyone coming down to Gas Lamp. It's awesome. You get to see people walk around dressed up. The kids think it's amazing, so we don't have to go inside to have fun. With so much to do, so much to see, and so much to share, Comic-Con's become more than a convention. It's become a community. Adam Campos, ABC 10 News.